Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about punctuation, but I'm not showing you where to put periods and commas. Those are other videos. This video is just to show you why it's important to know where to put punctuation, especially periods at the ends of sentences. And I'm going to do that by reading you a story from a book called Eats, Shoots, and Leaves by Linda Truss. And it's just a story that shows how important punctuation is and knowing where to put periods. Okay, so imagine there's um, two students at a school, Jack and Jill, okay? Jack really likes Jill, but she he doesn't know how she feels, so he's always looking at her and wondering and trying to impress her. And so one day, she writes him a letter and puts it on his car. After school, he walks to his car and he finds the letter from Jill on his car. He's super excited. And so he reads it. And when he reads the letter, this is what he reads. Okay, it says, Dear Jack, I want a man who knows what love is all about. You are generous, kind, thoughtful people who are not like you. Admit to being useless and inferior. You have ruined me for other men. I yearn for you. I have no feelings whatsoever. When we're apart, I can be forever happy. Will you let me be yours, Jill? Now, there was there were no periods in that. And so it's really hard to understand what Jill's saying. But because he likes her so much, he said, that's right. That's fine. She doesn't know where to put the periods. That's fine. I still like her. But I'm going to put the periods where I think they go. And then I'm going to go ask her if she's right. So Jack takes the letter and puts the periods where he wants them to go. He doesn't change anything else. Just puts periods. And this is what it says. Dear Jack, I want a man who knows what love is all about. You are generous, kind, and thoughtful. People who are not like you admit to being useless and inferior. You have ruined me for other men. I yearn for you. I have no feelings whatsoever when we're apart. I can be forever happy. Will you let me be yours? Jill. <clears throat> so he takes this letter to Jill and asks her, is this what you mean? You mean you love me, right? And she's like, no, 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 I don't. I want you to leave me alone. And so she erases all the periods and says, this is what I meant. And she puts the periods in a different place without changing anything else. No word changes, no word order, just punctuation. And this is what it reads. Dear Jack, I want a man who knows what love is. All about you are generous, kind, thoughtful people who are not like you. Admit to being useless and inferior. You have ruined me. For other men, I yearn. For you, I have no feelings whatsoever. When we're apart, I can be forever happy. Will you let me be yours, Jill? So as you can see here in this short story, without any words changing at all and just the punctuation, we can see that it really is important because it can be the difference between a love letter and a hate letter. And um, so if you wanna learn about how to punctuate correctly and you want to have um, confidence in being able to say what you want to say with the proper punctuation, look at the videos on um, sentence variety and sentence combining and sentence types because those videos will show you the different types of sentences and combinations of sentences and when you learn how to combine sentences, you learn what kinds of conjunctions, words that combine, you learn what kinds of conjunctions to use, and those conjunctions require certain types of punctuation marks. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful for you in understanding the importance of periods. Bye-bye.